Good morning, it is Sunday today. It is December the 1st, so we officially we are officially on the run up to Christmas. So I thought I would um, start a vlog, not vlogmas, I'm not doing vlogmas, but I thought I'd kind of do like a, yeah, a vlog. And today it is my granddad's birthday. And not just any birthday, it is his 100th birthday crazy um so it's a very special day so we are off to his little afternoon party it's kind of just like a big family get together which will be lovely um and i spoke to him this morning and he said he got his letter from the queen oh yeah i spoke to him this morning lou he got, he got his letter from the queen yesterday but he said he's going to wait and open it at his party with everyone Oh, he's so cute. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's where we're off to today. So I thought I would film, not film it, but kind of like start the vlog and then hopefully just do a little bit of vlogging when I'm there, just because, just for the memories really. I think if I do it for the vlog, then I'll make sure that I'm actually getting some footage and then I can look back at it in 10 years time. Um, so yeah, that is the plan. Um, but I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit. I'm just wearing a very simple get up. I've got on my black mango blazer, cream jumper from And Other Stories. And then if I stand back here, it's gone a bit, the lighting's not the best in here, um, but I've got my leather look leggings on, surprise, surprise, and my black ASOS boots, and then black Pauline bag. Um, and I'm just waiting for Lou to get ready now, and then we'll head off. There's a bright star shining tonight I have never right. seen before So this is my gorgeous granddad. So this beautiful man is 100. Happy birthday. Thank you, love. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Richard told me to send me a short speech. <laughs> like ladies dress. Oh God. Long enough to wear. Short enough to cover the subject. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be crying all night. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> we love you. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> He's a jolly good fella, but he's a jolly good fella, but he's a jolly good fella. That's what I say all about. Good morning. It is Monday. Sorry about the echoing, by the way. It's so echoey in this room. Um, we just need to fill it, basically. It's it's. We've got. Well, I'll show you in a minute. We've got some furniture in here. Um, but just obviously not enough, and we need to get some rugs in here, and yeah, it's just so blooming echoey in here. I wanted to film in here during hall week last week, um, and I filmed all my try-on clips in here, but I wanted to like, do the actual videos in here, but I just, when I watched it back afterwards, I was like, I can't even put that up, it's just so echoey. Um, but yeah, good morning, anyway. <laughs> completely gone off the point um yeah today is monday and i have just been working from home this morning catching up on emails that i didn't manage to do last week being hall week it was a very busy week and i have a lot of emails to catch up on so i'm doing that today 
Um, yesterday was lovely. It was such a nice day. Um, I didn't do a lot of filming because it just wasn't, it's a family event. I'm not going to be like going around interviewing everyone. Um, but how gorgeous is my granddad? I know I'm biased, but he's just, uh, oh, he's just so delightful. He's just, I just want to like bottle him up and keep him. Um, yeah, he's so lovely and we had such a nice day and then we went to Lou's family's for roast, for roast dinner. We always go there on a Sunday and that was lovely as well. Um, and then yeah, today I thought I would jump back on here and just carry on with the vlog. Haven't got many plans today, I'm just having a nice cosy day, the underfloor heating's on and I am wearing some really soft cosy loungewear and just loving life really. Lou is outside, I feel really bad actually, I'm sat here drinking a cup of tea, vlogging. Lou's outside on his knees, grouting our patio, which went down at the weekend. Well, half of it's down, which obviously I'm gonna show you that again in a minute. Um, but yeah, at the weekend Lou and someone, a one of his friends did the patio. Um, we have got a new dining room table and chairs. That came last week and very happy with that. I will show you that in a minute. In fact, you can see two chairs there, so that was a bit of a giveaway. I'll just sit like this. <laughs> um, but yeah, new table and chairs, because the reason we have got a new table and eight chairs is because I think we're gonna be hosting Christmas here this year as well. Um, it is my granddad's, well, we thought it was my granddad's 100th Christmas, but actually it's his 101st Christmas. Uh, but, yeah, we thought it'd be really nice to have him here for Christmas. So we're gonna have um, Milo, my mum and my dad, my sister and her two children, and my granddad. So there'll be eight of us. He is the last remaining grandparent that I have. Um, and yeah, we are hoping, well, we are, we invited everyone yesterday. <laughs> it was on my granddad's birthday, I was like, and we've got an invitation for you. We'd like you to come for, for sorry i'm watching low um i'm getting distracted yeah yesterday we yeah we invited everyone yesterday and they are very much up for it so that's the plan we're doing christmas here which is slightly daunting very daunting cooking a roast dinner for eight people um but no it should be lovely anyway tell me if this echoing is really annoying so i'm sitting here chatting away but i feel like does it is it a little bit annoying to listen to when it's that echoey um anyway i will show you what the house is looking like now. I will show you our new additions and yeah, I'll show you. Okay, so this is the first new addition that I wanted to show you. We finally have a table and chairs. Um, we've popped it here for now, but I don't think we're gonna have it there. We might have it a bit further this way or we might even have it going along that way. Um, but yeah, we're just sort of trying to work out where it fits best. But this is our new table and chairs and I knew that I wanted like a dark grey black wood and I spotted this table on Furniture Choice, I got this one from, um, and it is extendable and that was what made me think that it was perfect for us because obviously there's just the two of us at the moment so we do not need a 8 to 10 seating table all the time um, so we will have it like this most of the time and then when we've got guests for Christmas we've got an extra couple of chairs that we can put either end and extend the table you literally just pull it out and it's like yeah much, much bigger and perfect for hosting Christmas. Um, the legs of the chair obviously don't match the table, but I'm going to paint them black to match them because I wanted some that pretty much matched the stalls. I know they're not exactly the same color, but they're very almost, they're like both are very pale beige. They look, in fact, they look more the same in real life than they do on camera. Yeah, that is our new table and chairs. They are all from Furniture Choice. I will leave a link to them below um, because I remember when I spoke about my new stalls a few weeks ago, loads of you asked me for the link. So I will leave the table and chairs below. Um, but like I said, planning on painting them black to match that. And obviously it will work better when the house is actually fully furnished properly. Um, but the deal breaker for me was the fact that they offered guaranteed Christmas delivery. I'm pretty sure it was until the 17th of December. And obviously we needed to know that we would have a big enough table and chairs for Christmas. And I'm pretty sure it was with me about three days after I ordered it, which was amazing. 
Um, so yeah, the quality of both the table and the chairs is really good, especially considering the price. And then if I turn around over here, these are our new sofas, our new mint green sofas. What do you think? <laughs> No, I'm kidding. They're not our new sofas. They are a very temporary fix. Basically, these are Lou's parents' sofas and they're kind of like spare in their house and they said that we could borrow them to sort of suss out what kind of layout we want here and what's going to fit in here and how it's going to work. So these are not our new sofas. We will not be having mint green leather sofas, um, but we are gonna have our TV up there. I've mentioned that before. And so I'm trying to work out how to sort of have the layout in here, whether to have three sofas or one big sofa along here and then two chairs over there. Um, yeah, just, just still a little bit undecided as to what to put, but these are just tidying us over for now. And then if I just take you to the window, we have half of a patio. Um, and the garden obviously looks a mess because, well, because it's still a building site. But we actually have a new fence as well. I don't think I've shown you the new fence either. So we've got a new fence and we have a patio which follows out in very similar style of tiles from the house. They are exactly the same size, pretty much the same color and they follow through in like the grout lines are in exactly the same place. So it kind of like, when we've got the bifold doors open in the summer, it will look like they sort of run out from the house. By the way, the tiles we have inside are from Wix, but if I'm honest, I'm not super impressed with the quality of them. And the ones we have outside are from Porcelain Superstore, and they are suitable for both inside and outside. And obviously they've only just gone down, so I can't really comment on them yet. Um, but yeah, so far I am impressed with them. I will show you them properly when they're done and grouted. Sorry, I'm gonna try and not get Lou's bottom in frame. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is the next update as well. I'm pretty sure that kitchen-wise, um, oh, there's a bra there. <laughs> Um, kitchen wise not a lot has changed in here oh and then we also have double doors as well they don't have handles and one of them still has the sort of sticky cover on that one's had it off that one you can still see it's got it on um, but we have doors up there as well we I don't know whether or not I'm gonna paint them I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them oak or paint them white um, but it's nice to finally have that fitted as well and we have skirting I don't think I've shown you that we've got skirting as well and architrave <laughs> um yeah quite a lot has changed this mirror isn't staying here by the way it's um had this here when i was filming all my try on clips last week so i could check my outfit before i filmed it um and then obviously i've just left it in here but that will not stay there um but yeah as you can see it's kind of all all coming together with my mint green sofas oh and i've got a scrunchie around my camera because the screen has broken so i need to get a new camera as well that's wonderful. Um, so yeah, that's a little update of how it's looking in here. Quite a bit has changed in a few other rooms as well, um, but I will show you those as we go throughout December. I'll kind of show you the progress bit by bit. Um, also, I have a delivery coming today. I've ordered loads of different lights for the house. I've got a new light for the office, the hallway, um, two outside lights, two for our ensuite bathroom, else did I order? Yeah, quite a bit. I think that's it. I haven't got one for in here yet because that's a massive light that's needed and that's expensive. But yeah, quite a few lights. So I thought when they come, I will unbox you, unbox them and show you, show you them. Um, but yeah, I am going to go and check and see how Lou's getting on and see if he needs any help. And um, if he does, then maybe change into some scruffy clothes and help him. Lights that I ordered have just arrived, so I thought I would get in there and show you what I ordered and for what room. Um, hoping that they're nice. They're all from VHS, by the way. I used to always get, like, in our last house we had two chandeliers and they were both from VHS. And I used to always love going in there. We had one in Chichester. Um, but they've closed, I think they've closed all their stores. They only do lighting online now. Um, so I ended up ordering all of these bits online. Um, mm. Oh, how do I get into this? I 
I'm just going to rip it open. <laughs> Obviously. Um, oh, okay. Here we go. So, the first bits that I ordered are two of these outdoor lights. These are going to go up either side of the bifold doors outside. Um, I just saw an image on Pinterest that I love and I love the style of like the black open glass lights and I thought because our house is now rendered on the outside I thought these would look really nice on the white render so I've got two of those I'm not going to get I'm not going to open them now but Louis will probably put them up in the next couple of days so I will show you them once they're up but I ordered two of those for each side of the door and then I also ordered two of these which are also black and glass and they are going to go in the in our ensuite either side of the mirror i was going to get gold ones but i just thought it might be too much gold and i thought the black would look quite cool against the brushed gold in our ensuite if you haven't seen if you haven't seen that there is like an ensuite video which i will leave linked below um but again lou will probably put them up lou's an electrician by the way in case you didn't know um, but he'll probably put those up in the next couple of days as well. So I will show you how those, how they look when they're up. And then in here is this is Aubrey. She's called Aubrey. Oh. <laughs> this is a box full of the little frosted bits that hang down off this light. Um, so I'm going to have a busy time hooking those all on. There's literally hundreds of them. Um, so actually, do you know what? I'm not even going to carry on unboxing this because it's probably a little bit boring, but basically they all hang down from that. It goes that way up and they all hang down. It looks beautiful, um, but I will assemble them all and then I'll show you them once they're properly up when Lou ends up putting them up, hopefully in the next few days at some point. Okay, so you can't really see it properly because half of it's still got cardboard in and a lot of the little crystal bits are twisted. But this is the one that I've ordered for our bedroom because I wanted something that was really sort of um, like really sort of special. Oh, is that how they go? Oh, okay, so they go up like that. So they sit. Ah, that explains why they've got little hooks on them. So they sit up like that and I guess go round. Ah, that's how they sit. Um, so yeah, so I wanted something that looked really special but that wasn't like a proper chandelier. Um, so I thought this one was beautiful, um, but yeah, you can't tell where it looks like this, can you? Who am I kidding? Um, I will show you them properly when they are all up. Good morning. It is Sunday and <laughs> um, I've got a little guest with me this morning. Tommy stayed last night. Him and Lou went to the football. Tommy is my nephew. He's my sister's little boy. And him and Lou went up to London yesterday to watch Tottenham and had a really fun day out, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enthusiastic, wasn't it? Uh, but no, they had a really good, really good day and Tottenham won five nil, so amazing time for them to go. Um, and Lou's gone out early this morning. He's working today on a Sunday. Poor, poor Lou. Um, so Tommy and I are going to decorate the Christmas tree. Aren't we, Tommy? Mm hmm Mm-hmm. <laughs> Again, ever so enthusiastic about that. <laughs> um, but I got my decorations from my mum yesterday. I don't know if I'm going to have enough because our tree that we've got this year is bigger than last year's tree. But I can always get some more this afternoon if not. But I thought it'd be nice to do with him this morning. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. We've got a tree to decorate. Should put some Christmassy music on while we do it. Alexa. Play. So, you do, if you do all the little ones, the bottom ones, all the big ones, yeah? What? These little ones. So you just stop them around wherever you want. Do you just get straight home or something? Like 
now it's on there. I think maybe it needs a few more. I don't know actually, now, it's, now the light's on, it looks okay, doesn't it? When the lights were off, it looked like it needed, needed a few more baubles, but actually now they're on. I really like it. Now I just need to wrap some presents or get a tree skirt to go at the bottom. Tree skirt? Yeah, tree skirt. Tree skirt. Show them about the uh, cement mixer in the garden. <laughs> mm -hmm. 